$260 million, that's the price tag for the expansion and construction of I-10. With the project going on now for about four years, the Department of Transportation says it's ahead of schedule for the remaining phases of the plan. Our Victor Georges is live in Lafayette with an update on when drivers can expect this all to wrap up. Victor. Yeah, and they tell me that the two hurricanes last year or the pandemic have not delayed their progress. One of the two remaining phases are expected to wrap up in a few months. This phase from I-49 to Bro Bridge has been four years in the making. District Engineer Administrator for the Lafayette District, Michael Dezel, says DOT is focusing on laying asphalt on the ramps, incorporating them into I-10, and adding sealant to bridge decks. It should be done by the summer. The third and final part of the I-10 remodel goes from Bro Bridge to Henderson. This phase of the project started in 2019, its targeted completion date is summer 2022. The foundation for I-10 has been the same since it was built. What we're working on is the actual original pavement from whenever I-10 was built. So uh, that was over 50 years ago. We have uh, gotten a long life out of that pavement before we had to come back and, and do some more to it. So. They tell me two hurricanes and a pandemic have not delayed their progress. So even though we have had uh, the hurricanes this past year and the issues with COVID-19, the contractor has uh, had good fortune and they're actually ahead of schedule on both of the remaining sections. The DOTD says a large investment has been made and they hope travelers see the difference. The, the total investment for all three of these sections of I-10, which goes from I-49 all the way to the Basin Bridge, is in excess of $260 million. So a significant investment in, in our infrastructure, and I think the traveling public are, are going to see the benefits. Yeah, and they tell me these benefits include added capacity on the roads and a smoother pavement, and they say this is especially helpful for hurricane evacuations. Live in Lafayette, Victor Georges, KTC TV3.